My name's Alan Hart and today's video it's it's a job that I went to a few weeks ago and it was the boiler was unsafe and the original call out was customer was complaining of no hot water and also the boiler was leaking and when I got to the property when I got to the house the customer also told me they've been getting headaches as well so what we'll do we'll go and have a look at the boiler uh, and I'll, I'll show you some I'll show you some of the clips from the job um, I've got to apologize I've not been doing no videos for a while um, obviously we've been on lockdown uh, my wife's got suspected coronavirus and she's been in bed now for um, about eight or nine days so it's been a bit bit of a tough one but yeah let's uh, let's get over to this get over to this video You should only take the case off a boiler if you're gas safe registered or you're competent to do so. We have specialist equipment for testing and making sure that it's all correct afterwards. So although some things look quite easy and people do videos on YouTube and stuff showing you how to do stuff, you must always use somebody gas safe. So this is one of the devices that we use and this is a flue gas analyzer and we have to have these calibrated every 12 months to make sure they're safe. We also need to do stuff like testing for gas leaks on services. So also sometimes when things look really easy, that's only because the person that's doing it knows what they're doing. So as I say, always use somebody who's gas safe registered or competent to do so. And, and you must have all the correct safety equipment to be able to check it as well. Me. I keep telling people to check the seals on the top of these boilers in case that they're leaking and, and I've come to this job today I've actually come to um, it were a water leak I came to um, and we changed flow turbine adapter and the customer decided they wanted to put a new boiler in here um, but I tested this seal and this seal has failed and we could we could have replaced this we could have repaired it um, but as I say, we're going to put a new boiler in. But what I'm going to do is I'll show you, I'll show you the readings on this, and the reason why you need a gas safe registered engineer that's going to check these seals. So I'm just going to run the hot tap and let the boiler, boiler fire up. And then if we have a look on there, we can see it reading is on zero. <coughs> So you can just see why it's important to check these seals. We'll take the fan out now and I'll just show you the show you the seal on the top of this. Just have a look here up round side. Just undone that off now. Just take this top part off. And you just see the seal has failed on the top. You can clearly see it's all deteriorated. You can see inside boiler there as well. You can actually see a scorch mark there, burn mark, outside a boiler, inside. So clearly this has been leaking out for quite some time. 
so they really really do need to be serviced you need to make sure you service these and change this seal check this seal every time so clearly the fault on this was the burner seal um and that's that is down to lack of service if it had been serviced correctly then that wouldn't have happened and that's why it's important to get your boiler serviced now i'll just show you some of the other issues or faults on this as well and one of them um was the customer was saying there was no hot water or the hot water wasn't very good um so yeah so let's have a look at that and i'll show you why 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 that was first of all if we have a look at the boiler this is a worcester bosch and it's a green star and it's a 24i junior If we have a look at a 24 kilowatt boiler, this is the instructions from a Baxi, but the Worcester ones will be very similar. So that's the 24 kilowatt. And at a 30 degree rise, you'd get 11.43 liters a minute. And at a 35 degree rise, you'd get 9.8 liters a minute. So the customer had said, they had poor hot water on this job and as you can see there this is a 24 kilowatt 24 kilowatt boiler and the flow rate that they had coming out of their tap was quite high and what that means is when you run it when you run it high when you run the flow high the hot the, the water it didn't get chance to get hot because the boiler was only a 24 kilowatt boiler personally i wouldn't have installed them a 24 I would have put a bigger boiler in, um, maybe a 28, and that would give them better hot water. Um, so yeah, that's that's the reason for the fault on this job, or not a fault with the boiler, but the reason why the hot water wasn't working as the customer would expect it to work. If you've got a smaller output boiler, then there's a good chance if you turn the flow rate down, to what the boiler manufacturers say then it may be that the boiler is actually working correctly just running this boiler down now if we have a look at the condensate trap we can see that it's probably never been serviced or certainly that traps not been cleaned out for a long long time I'm just taking the expansion vessel out on this now and it's very very heavy and it's full of water so we know that that expansion vessel is faulty that could mean it just needs pumping up because obviously it's not been serviced for a long time and it could be that the expansion vessel has failed as well but we're just going to put a new boiler in here so so I'm just going to give you a recap now on this and also give you my opinion because obviously different people will, will have different opinions. And yeah, please, if you can, put your opinion below. Um, so my opinion on this, the customer mentioned headaches. Now, that could be anything, um, but this boiler is room sealed and it's got a seal around it, so you wouldn't expect to be able to even though the, that was leaking you wouldn't expect the fumes to be coming into the room um the the other issue obviously it was leaking water so i changed the flow term uh flow turbine adapter and i did that before i run the boiler and i didn't charge the customer for that because i i didn't want to run the boiler while the boiler was leaking didn't want to risk getting water on the um on the board so i changed the flow turbine adapter and then i checked did all the safety checks and checked that flu seal that burner seal obviously seen that that was leaking uh, obviously the boiler needed a good service the uh, the biggest issue on this boiler was um down to the lack of servicing so it could have been serviced it could have we could have pumped the expansion vessel up we could have changed uh, well i did change the flow turbine adapter 
um, we could have cleaned out condensate out and we could have brought the boiler back to life and but even so then it's still it was only a 24 kilowatt boiler which in my opinion and, and as I say this is it's, it's all about opinions but the customer the customer wanted a greater flow rate and, and better hot water so putting a 28 kilowatt boiler in would mean that it was better for the customer and they would get a better flow rate and the customer actually phoned me uh, messaged me actually whatsapp me a few days later saying that they were so happy um, because the boiler was now working um it was now working really well um what else did we have so we had the um, hot water so we spoke about hot water a bigger boiler um but just one thing to say about the bigger boilers don't put massive boilers in i see a lot of people putting 40 kilowatt boilers in 40 kilowatt combis and i personally wouldn't put a 40 kilowatt combi combi in unless it was absolutely needed um because the the look the heat load a lot of the time they don't modulate right down so they're massively oversized but that's just that again that's just my opinion um so just try and fit the right size boiler for for the property um yeah i think that's about it really um with the new boiler that we installed i put them a i put them a 28 28 kilowatt boiler in and i put them a nest in and they're really really happy with that um so so that's good but as i say with this job um lack of servicing it, it you need to make sure that you get your boiler serviced and and when it is serviced that it's serviced correctly and with that worcester if that worcester would have been serviced every year that burner seal would have been changed the all the baffles and everything inside would have been all cleaned the condensate trap would have been cleaned out the expansion vessel would have been pumped up and and you could probably get another five years or so out of that boiler but the only other thing i would say about that boiler is a lot of the time i find that once the flow turbine adapter goes on the right hand side not long after and usually within a few months the left hand side goes as well uh, not always but I, I do find that quite a lot and then a while after that sometimes the back manifold goes as well so you know it's once they get to that sort of age it's a balance between whether you want to spend money on keeping them alive or you just want to put a new boiler in and if you do put a new boiler in obviously then you've got the manufacturer's warranty so the boiler i've installed has got 10 year parts and labor warranty and it's a 28 kilowatt as i've said so it's bigger and the customer's really happy with it and i'm babbling on a bit now um yeah um well stay safe everybody um yeah this lockdown's uh not great is it really but yeah all right thank you for watching